Okay, Cancer. Let's have your reading here. All right. So you guys are being challenged this month uh, to feel, I'm sorry, to um, be present right here and right now in this moment. Um, I think some of you guys might be a little bit over anxious for your future um, because we do have the Ten of Cups here showing up. Um, so maybe you are aware of something coming up in your future where you're going to be really happy and maybe you have to wait. Um, um, but I, you guys are, my, a lot of you guys might be challenged this month, um, as far as being centered in your, in your feelings and just kind of concentrating and stay patient and focused within the moment, this moment right here and right now, and also being challenged to be satisfied within this moment right here and right now. Opposed to, you know, getting stuck in your past or uh, anxious for your future. But just enjoying today and every moment uh, of the day. So some of you are, are being challenged this month um, to just kind of stay present and happy and appreciate uh, and uh, in reality of the moment, uh, of the moment to moment uh, we are in retrograde, so maybe some of you are being impatient um, because things aren't happening right away. Maybe there's a postponement. So it's just saying that um, some of you guys might be feeling a little bit anxious. And we have comparison. So it looks like you guys might, some of you uh, might be needing to make a decision and uh, you need to be making um, a choice, a decision um, about two different things, two very different things. Um, so you guys might, you guys actually are going to be making a decision. It's, uh, it's telling me, it's telling me that you will be making a decision this month. Interesting. We'll have to see what, what this is more, uh, what this is about more later, but, um, yeah, you guys are going to be uh, making a decision about two very different things um, that's coming up. And we have the mind card here. So some of you guys are going to be uh, definitely, I, I, have, I for some reason, I get the feeling that some of you are moving into a home or a new city or a new country or a new state. Um, and you guys, so some of you, uh, you guys might be moving. Um, or you're, pre you're preparing to move and you're very anxious and happy about it, um, for some of you. Okay. Uh, we do have the mind card here and this is telling me that, um, you might be feeling a little bit, um, cluttered in the mind. Uh, maybe there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, like I said, maybe some of you are moving. Um, some of you are uh, needing to make a decision as well. You need to make, some people are needing to make a decision. Anyway, you guys might be a little bit in your head this month, uh, thinking and feeling a lot of stuff going on in your head. Uh, so you guys might be needing to declutter within the mind and kind of just get some meditation and some relaxation to set your mind at ease. I see that you guys are feeling a sense of release within the mind as well. I do sense that your mind is freeing up from a time where you were very, uh, confused or not confused, but just your mind was thinking a lot about things. Um, so I think that this month you were trying to make a choice and now you maybe are going to be making a choice and it's going to free up your mind. It's going to set your mind at ease a little bit for some of you, for, uh, for others of you, it's the challenges, uh, that you do need to, to, to set your mind at ease and do some more meditation. We have projection. We have a card of projection here, which is telling me that there are pos there is possible relationships within your life, friends, family, work, uh, uh, relationship, uh, love relationship, all relationships, family, friends, uh, whatever. Um, but um, it, it appears that um, you guys have done a lot of projection work, it looks like, uh, where you've mirrored each other. Uh, 
you've had situations in your life uh, recently where you've learned a lot from those people. Challenge people that maybe they were challenging situations, maybe they were um, soulmate type of karmic situations or, um, you know, again, it could be friends, family, whatever. But it does appear that you've really done some inner work with yourself and you've, you've chose to accept the people in your life for who they are and you see them more for who they are opposed to what they did to you or you know how they hurt you or what they did to you it appears that you're raising above that in your healing and um, you're seeing people places and things that you've been involved with it looks like in a way where you're getting a lot of profound clarity and uh, maturity and a lot of um, insight, full uh, revelations in regards to healing yourself, raising to a new level, and really loving the people around you and seeing the love within them opposed to, again, like mirroring them, um, blaming or reacting. It, it, it appears that these things aren't really, really affecting you anymore for some of you. And for the other you, it's the opposite, that that is what you need to learn is that um, people are in our lives for a reason and um, they're there to challenge us, right? They're there to uh, teach us. They're there to um, allow us to grow. They're there to let us see things in a different new way. So when people are in our lives and they're challenging or there's situations that are really challenging, that is a good time for us to really use those situations and those people to allow us to rise to a greater way of seeing things and a greater way of being. All right, you guys, let's go into your reading. Wow, that was deep. I don't know why you guys have a deep reading this month. Woo, what's going on here with you guys? Oh my gosh. I would love to know what you guys are making a choice about because I do see that you're going to be making a choice this month um, about something. And for some of you, I do see you're moving. So maybe you're making a decision about where to move. Um, so let's get on here. I see the 10, the, uh, the card on the bottom of the deck is the 10 of cups, which is extreme fulfillment, satisfaction, happiness in a family, a love family, fulfillment within the family unit. It's not a family. It's just fulfillment within yourself and what it is that you love and enjoy and are, are and feel, feel uh, safe and um, fulfilled in. You guys are really having this card. It's here for you. Wow. The main energy we have for you, my God, is the lovers. Well, that goes perfect with the Ten of Cups, doesn't it? Woohoo. Wow. Of course. So here we go. And we got that with the projection card. So, wow, I, I see you guys. It, it sure plays true with what I was talking about. Um, you guys have come to a new level. You're, you're fine. You found passion um, within yourself and others. You have found love within yourself and others. You have found love in who you are. And now you're seeing the love in other people because you are fulfilled in yourself. And you love yourself and you can see the love in the people that you surround yourself with and are uh, involved with. So I do see the lovers here. I see a beautiful passion, a beautiful self-love. I see the Ten of Cups. You're completely fulfilled in this love, in this passion. The next card we have is the Ten of Swords. And this card is in the position of what is crossing you and what is blocking you possibly or an obstacle this month i don't know why this card is here but let's go ahead and find out this is um and i'm sorry it's not the ten of swords my gosh uh this is the nine of swords sorry the nine of swords this is not the ten i apologize so i see that this is crossing you so some of you guys are, are having a hard time sleeping and I don't think it's because of worry. Uh, this card really means worry, stress, um, nightmares, um, anxiety. I see this more as an excitement. <laughs> you guys maybe can't sleep because you are excited. So uh, I think in most cases, that's what's going on here. 
Um, some of you guys are really, uh, <laughs> are really excited. Um, and uh, again, you're anxious for your future because you know good things are happening. You're having a hard time uh, just living right here and right now because there's so much good that I think that you see coming up. But for others of you, yeah, there might be a little bit of stress. There might be a little bit of um, mental uh, worrying about something. Maybe things are going too good for you. Or it could have to do with being patient, living in this moment right now. And there is some kind of decision possibly you need to make. So maybe you're a little bit worried about this decision. Should I do this decision or not? And uh, I think you know it's going to bring you happiness. I, I, I know you're feeling the passion and the love, but there may be something that um, is triggering you to be a little bit worried about it. The next card we have is your recent past. We have the Empress in your recent past, Cancer. My gosh. So in the recent past, there's this mother figure here that's loving, nurturing, uh, giving, um, abundant, uh, share, she's sharing, uh, this could be male or female. This, is, this also could be you, um, in the past, maybe you, uh, uh, started something new and exciting, um, that's going to bring you a lot of, uh, stability and abundance in your life. There's some kind of a rebirth or newness here in the recent past. There's something that maybe, uh, started brand new, uh, that's bringing you a lot of fulfillment. So in the recent past, you could have, uh, fallen in love, uh, found this, this, this passion within yourself and with somebody else. Um, and you're really fulfilled. Wow. Cancer. I'm loving this. Okay. What's coming in for you is the King of Pentacles in reverse. This could be a Virgo Capricorn or a uh, Taurus. This is, could be the earth, earth sign here. And this is in reverse. So this could be a father figure. It could be a boss. It could be somebody in authority. Um, it could be a family member. It could be anybody. It could be somebody a little bit older. Um, not older than you, but just older. Um, could be older than you, but um, more mature. But it looks like this person is having a little bit of financial uh, worries or issues in their life. Um, maybe they're not feeling that very secure within themselves because you know, when we don't have uh, our finances together, sometimes it makes us feel insecure about ourselves. So this person is not really uh, feeling that great financially or doing well. Um, or this person could be, um, you know, somebody who is, their business is going bad or failing. Somebody's having uh, some kind of failure within the business, uh, without, within work or their own company. Maybe it's not doing well at this moment. Um, and maybe this is the person that's having a little bit of worry. Maybe it's, it's affecting you somehow because maybe this is, uh, somebody in your life that you love, care about even. Um, and it's, you know, causing them to worry, uh, which affects you as well. Um, so maybe you're having to be a little bit supportive for them, but, um, it also could be you somehow you could be the one having financial problems within your employment or, um, the, your boss around you, but there is this kind of instability here. All right. The next, wow. Okay. So the next card we have is that's currently affecting you as far as this is the queen of pentacles and she's also in reverse. So we have the king and the queen, uh, in reverse. So this is telling me that there is a divorce on the rise or a separation or some health issues within two people, a married, most likely this couple is married. This could be your parents. Um, again, she's an earth sign as well. So it could be the Virgo. It doesn't have to be though. They don't have to be Virgos or, uh, earth signs, uh, Tauruses or, or, or Capricorns. They could be though, but this is a most likely, um, a married couple and it looks like they may be divorcing or separated and they're both feeling financially unstable right now because of it. Maybe they have to divide the finances and finances up. Um, and maybe because there's, you know, they're not sharing the finances, it, it makes them both feel, uh, you know, that, like they have less money to, you know, when it's divided or whatever. But regardless, this couple does appear to be a little bit um, insecure, uh, unstable right now. Um, hence another reason for this worrying card here, a little bit of anxiety and stress about this, these two people. So this is in your hopes and fears section. 
I'm sorry, this is not your hopes and fear. I'm sorry, you guys. This is in the position of um, what you're striving for this month, what you're uh, looking to achieve. And we have the two of pentacles in reverse. So it's telling me that you're having a hard time. You are you're you almost feel like you need to give up or, you know, drop the ball. Um, it looks like you're having a hard time either making a decision, that you're not able to make a decision. So you're just like giving up. Um, you're, you're trying to juggle your finances, uh, but it's just not working. You keep coming up short, um, short in finances. Therefore you're just like in debt now, or you're, you know, it's, it's, it's just not, you're not able to manage your finances anymore. It's gotten out of control. Um, or you just, you're having a very hard time, uh, managing all your time, managing your money, making a decision. So some of you guys are really being challenged with that this month. The next card we have is how you see your situation this month. And uh, we have the King of Swords. So you guys, this is an air sign, most likely, or an air energy, a Gem Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Uh, this is a male or female. But this person is coming in very strong with a beautiful um, ability to communicate in a very clear manner. This person's very logical. They're very factual. They have a lot of intellect, intellect, intellect. Um, they're very intelligent and they have a lot to offer you right now. This person, um, is going to be giving and providing truth, clarity, and some information. Could be an attorney, um, definitely an attorney or a paralegal or somebody in the legal industry, uh, industry, I'm sorry, <laughs> the, the legal field, right? Um, this could be somebody coming in to give you advice uh, in regards to this uh, divorce or this financial breakup that's going on between this king and, qu king and um, queen. And you very well, uh, Cancer, could be uh, the one involved in this breakup as well. But uh, we do have somebody coming in and you're going to probably get some legal advice and some very, very, very insightful, important, helpful information that will give you the facts you need and help you uh, or them with this worry and this um, anxiety. Next card we have is the death in reverse. So this is in the position of what is influence the people, places, and things around you, your environment, um, and the influences of your around it. And we do have the death card in reverse. So somebody is having a hard time with this change, with this divorce, or with this separation. Um, either they are both having a hard time, um, or you're having a hard time with it. If this is like a, a family member or a couple around you, um, they're having a really hard time, you guys, setting the cycle free, ending the cycle, or there's a postponement in this, in this ending. So maybe there's, because we are in, re you know, Mercury retrograde or retrograde, um, Maybe there is some kind of postponement in the, uh, the, the, the finalization of a divorce or the finalization of a, of, of a separation at a, in a work situation or whatever this separation is between these two. Um, there is some kind of postponement of it ending. Somebody might be, you know, having a hard time with it or it's just you know, having a hard time um, closing out the final um, end of the cycle. The next card we have is in your hopes and fears. And this is the Knight of Swords and your hopes and fears. The Knight of Swords is telling me that um, I think you guys are afraid that you're going to get um, some negative, you know, feedback or negative um, communication. Maybe some, you're afraid somebody's going to be abusive or harsh with you or, you know, in, in a situation with you um, or around you because... Um, but I don't see that's going to be an issue if that is a concern because we do have the Knight of Swords here and the Knight of, uh, the King, sorry, the King of Swords trumps this Knight of Swords and this uh, King of Swords is coming in to provide truth, clarity, and facts. Um, so this person might not be happy about it. They may be coming in to cause problems or, uh, you know, give like lies or maybe they're bitter about something. So, um you know, you guys might be a little concerned about, about you, you know, you turning into somebody like that or no, it's more so that somebody is, you're afraid that somebody's going to, um, disrupt, disrupt your harmony really. 
And the last card we have is the King of, King of Wands. And the King of Wands is a fire sign. This could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. It could also just be um, somebody who is not moving forward. They're, they're being stubborn and they don't want to take action towards something. So somebody's standing their ground saying it's my way or the highway. They're not moving forward. They don't want to take action. So uh, this also could be you, Cancer, not taking action in something. Um, uh, but I, 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 whoever this is, it's affecting you because they're not taking action. They're being stubborn. And maybe you have to deal with this person, okay? 